Good morning everyone. How are you doing? Most of you are very familiar with the story about Job and his misfortune and then his restoration in the latter part of his life. And this morning as you know, we read Job 2, we spoke about when the enemy came to you know, ask God basically about Job. As a matter of fact, God was the one who said, have you considered my servant Job? And I realized that Job's character was what came under attack. He was upright in heart, the Bible said. He eschewed evil. And he was just a righteous man. One that feared God. Are you coming under attack today, but not because of what you did? It might be that the enemy that is set against you is not because you did anything wrong. But because you fear God and because you're walking in your integrity. No, these stories have been put here for our example. Right? You, by the Spirit of God in the name of Jesus Christ, can boom blast that devil out of your life. Right? Devil had the man using piece of clay pot, scraping off boils off himself. And I tell you, he'd want to put unfortunate situations in your life where you just sit down, you know, just scratching your head and nursing wounds. I command you today, I charge you in the name of Jesus Christ to arise and pray. What is happening to you is because of your integrity. It's because of your honesty in the workplace. It's because you refuse to steal like others are stealing. It's because you refuse, you know, to, 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 to have accomplices with people who, who like inordinate affection. And all that kind of thing. You're coming up on attack because you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Let me tell you something. Get up and bind those spirits that are coming against your integrity. If the enemy is taking to you on a global level, taking it to you on a global you got to arise on a global level and deal with it. If he's taking it to you on a, on a, on a county level, city level, on the level of a province, you're going to fight on that level. Don't let the devil win in this season you have everything to win you are powered by the holy ghost let me tell you something you shall not die but live and declare the works of almighty god you will continue to walk with god his wife came to him and said to him do you still maintain your integrity even after this and she further went on to tell him to curse god and die many people are looking at you and saying how oh, come you're still following god even after you lose the business even after your husband gone and your wife gone how come you're still following god are you still doing that holy, holy, righteous thing? Yes, you're still doing it. Because it is not the things that you possess that you will take to heaven. The Bible says no sin shall enter there. Remember that you're in a battle to make it to heaven. That's what this war is about. It's not just about possession, right? And while God instructs us to occupy until he come, you must still continue to fight over that which belongs to you. Fight over your marriage. Fight over your children. Fight over your business. Fight over your church. Anything that God has put in your care, continue to fight over that. If you are a person who you're, because of your righteousness, you're coming up under attack, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I commit this person to you, O God, who has been fighting a long-standing battle. Arise, O God, as this person's defense. Arise, O God, of vengeance. And show thyself on this person's behalf. Scatter this person's enemy, Almighty God. Overthrow, totally annihilate, Almighty God, them by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We bind the wicked demon that is coming up against your integrity. That is coming up against your uprightness in God. The fear of God in you. The loyalty that you have for God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we decree and we declare that it is well. Father, we pray, O God, that you will release angels on assignment to this person in Jesus Christ's mighty name God bless you there's devotion here on TikTok every morning weekdays Mondays through to Friday 6 a.m. get up and let us pray get up and let us pray over your children over your husband your wife your business get out and let us keep a consistent flow of prayer if it's hard for you doing alone let us do it together come right 6 a.m. TikTok every morning Mondays through to Fridays. God bless you.